Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from America are The United Nations General Assembly has voted 128 to 9 with 35 abstentions in favor of a non-binding resolution declaring President Donald Trump's decision on Jerusalem null and void. Ambassador Nikki Haley said the US was singled out for attack and disrespected by the vote. The US House of Representatives has passed a stopgap spending bill to avoid a federal government shutdown one day before the deadline. The House and Senate leaders will now seek a bipartisan budget deal to fund the federal government for the rest of the fiscal year 2018. Veteran actress Farida Jalal's short film Mehram is going to be screened in the US. The movie is an effort to start discussions around the discriminating laws of Hajj against women while also pointing at various religions and cultures where gender inequality is accepted as a tradition. The US has been urged to work with Beijing to maintain healthy and stable bilateral ties. China's Ministry of Commerce said that the world's two largest economies would maintain win-win cooperation and mutual development and together could push prosperity in the global economy. The Afghan government has welcomed President Donald Trump's new national security strategy. The presidential palace in a statement said that the strategy affirmed enduring US-Afghanistan strategic partnership and that it was in line with the shared objectives against terrorism. Actor Tom Hanks has said that he would turn down an invitation from the White House to screen his new movie, The Post. The film is about the Washington Post defying threats from former President Richard Nixon to publish the Pentagon Paper stories in 1971. A resident of East Tennessee, Tina Gibson, has successfully delivered a baby with a 25-year-old frozen embryo. Emma Wren was born to Gibson on November 25, 2017, weighing 6 pounds and 8 ounces and measuring 20 inches long. It was the longest known frozen human embryo. The Metropolitan Museum of Art has purchased a Hebrew Bible produced in the Spanish region of Castile in the 14th century. The magnificently illuminated work was a notable testimony to the transcultural influences in medieval Spain. The museum bought it privately for an unspecified sum. An associate producer of the series Marco Polo has filed a lawsuit in the Supreme Court accusing Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein of assaulting and sexually harassing her for years. Alexandra Canosa has also named the company and seven other board members as defendants. NASA has picked two concepts for a solar system mission planned to launch in the mid-2020s. The agency will choose between a comet sample return mission and a drone-like rotocraft that would explore potential landing sites on Saturn's largest moon, Titan. I'll be back. Stay logged on to IndianTimesDaily.com as the news from Punjab follows.